You're now listening to Churchy Life with Church Funny. Every week, we're bringing you fun conversations with real Christians from every walk of life. Make sure you visit churchylife.com for more. Welcome to Churchy Life, the podcast with Church Funny. This is your host, Damon Collins, and I'm the creator of Church Funny. I want to thank you guys so much for checking the show out. We've got a special guest. It's my sister, a man, my sister Megan. Wait, is it Folks Davis? Because I know I got an email that said Folks. I'm like, I don't really know. <laughs> it is folks now is. Folks. Yeah. Shout out to Steve, hey. my new brother. <laughs> Steve Folks for scooping up my sister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, man. Yeah, but, <laughs> but yeah, we got my sister on here. She's a baker extraordinaire, a singer, um, songwriter, praise dancer. Oh, no, no praise <laughs> dance. All right. <laughs> I, I retired a few years back. All right. Uh, done, worship hung, leader, yeah. Then hung up your white gloves. Right, yeah. And That's my right. scarf. And Press the scarf. Off. <laughs> And the flag. Don't forget the flag. The flag, yeah. yeah. Mm. Headband, gold. In a place Metallic. of honor. Is it mm-hmm. is it hung up high in a place of honor? Yes, yes. Right. And it says, rejoice. Praise God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, welcome to the podcast, Megan well, folks. Thank you. Thank you for, um, for doing this with me. Give the people um, a little bit of information about yourself if you'd like to. Well, um, as you said, I am a baker, a singer, songwriter, all that good stuff. Um, the people are looking for me. I still go by Megan Ashley, though. Oh, right. So, yeah. But, you know, I got to throw that folks in, you know, represent for the husband. That's right. That's but, um, yeah, I've kind of pegged myself as the singing baker. So oh. those. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I it's like a it. Thing. Yeah. But um, I love to bake. I love to sing. I love music. Music is always my first love. But uh, once I discovered my passion for baking, I decided to just go full out, pursue that. Um, I'm always singing, but um, baking is kind of a, it's it's something that started off as just a way for me to connect with my family, with with mom and um, learning all the the cool things. I don't know. I guess I've always been told I'm an old soul. So I've always wanted to learn how to like make those good home down home baked goods and stuff like that. So I could feel like somebody's grandma. But, um, but then I decided to pursue it further as an actual career with schooling and all of that. So it's been, it's been an interesting journey. I've um, recently kind of switched to full time with that. So that's dope. It's, it's, um, it's pretty cool. That's awesome. I'm proud of you. Thank Out you, here sir. baking it up. I don't, I, you know, I cook, but I don't really do the baking. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know if I've ever been called an old soul, but I know I, I'm the one who has, always has to cook for every holiday. Um, <laughs> that qualifies. Yeah. yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Since we moved, I haven't had to cook for too many holidays. So that's, you know, ain't nobody yeah. out here. Oh, no, well, actually. Get ready next true. month. No, that's not true. I had to cook for. Christmas or Thanksgiving when mm-hmm. I just moved out here because my friends are out here too. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, work. next month when we come see you, you will be cooking. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to be cooking when you guys come out here, but that's, um, don't be looking at me like that. No. <laughs> so anyway, as you know, so with, uh, the churchy life podcast, we want to talk to you about something, um, funny that's happened to you at church something crazy that's happened at church i know we both have a bunch of shared stories um separate stories because we both went to the same church for a long time um but i know you grew up where did you grow up again well i kind of grew up between three different places i know that sounds weird but i grew up between wisconsin indiana and california okay so it's long story won't go into that but i literally Like, people consider me their babies from, and those places as my hometowns. Right. (laughs) Or, like, the cities in there as my hometowns. So, um, yeah, I've seen a whole lot of crazy stuff in church. Um, I see you grew up in the grand old church of God in Christ like I did. Yes. Shout out your church. Shout out, well, I would say your home church. 
but you have probably like 17 of them. Uh, but yeah. shout, out the, <laughs> shout out the home church if you want to, or the um, home churches. Yeah, the home churches. I have three home churches, too. Right. <laughs> so I have um, St. Memorial Church of God in Christ in South Bend, Indiana. I have Mason Temple Church of God in Christ in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And then Mount Calvary Community Church. They used to be Kojic. But uh, oh. that is in Los Angeles, California. So right. I'm the baby at all three of those churches. That's awesome. Yeah. So, so I know between one of, out of one or two of those, <laughs> uh, we've all had some hilarious stuff happen. I know you've had some interesting stuff happen at church. So hit us with, if you can think of something good. Um, um, there, Like I said, there's a million things raised, raised up in church. Like, you know, people say it all the time, but it's true. You get the best comedy yeah. in church. You know, um, one that I recently talked to a uh, sister about was uh, we went to a funeral and um, the man that was kind of expediting the service, I don't know where he was from, but um, he said that Jesus was born in a small town in Birmingham. Wait. Yeah, he said he said he was born in the little town of Birmingham. Yes. And then uh, there was Birmingham, Alabama is what you're talking about. Sir, clearly Birmingham what? next to Jerusalem. I. <laughs> He literally said, you know, because Jesus was born in a uh, small town in, in Birmingham. So we naturally were like, Birmingham? That same funeral, um, there was a pastor. His last name was, uh, he was from another country, but his last name was Toile. Okay. And the same person that said that Jesus was born in Birmingham also kept calling the man, uh, Pastor Toilet. Oh, Lord. <laughs> so everyone kept correcting him. The people in the pulpit were like, no, it's Twilight, Twilight. And he's like, well, at least I didn't say Twilight. No. <laughs> uh, that's just the most recent. We just talked about he that. Didn't take it years to country. In LA. So. <laughs> oh, Lord. But yeah, there's been a countless number of hilarious things. That's just right off the top of my head. But we've had some crazy experiences. Man, funerals yeah. are always an interesting time. Um, <laughs> I know, you know, you'll see stuff on TV or whatever about people jumping in the casket and just losing it. And I, I mean, I'll see, I'll see stuff on TV like that. Like I actually saw that in real life one time mm -hmm. and I, I couldn't believe it was actually happening. And it was at like my cousin's funeral. Um, this was a while back too. And it was, and I was, I forgot how old I was, but you know, they was doing the viewing and stuff, and her best friend literally jumped in the casket with the take me, Lord. I'm like, wait, dude, people don't really know. She jumped right. on top of her in the casket, talking about take me, Lord. I'm like, no, people don't, people really do that. I thought it was just I, somebody wow. made that up for, you know, for TV and whatnot. No, she, yeah. she that, really that's did it. Very did you ever see, there was a mad TV episode, um, the one lady, I can't think of her name, the one black lady on there, where she was screaming and yeah. jumping in the cast yes. and like, thank you, Lord, and then the Grim Reaper shows up to yes. take her. <laughs> that was, um, oh, what is her name? I can't think of her Deborah name. Deborah right something. Um, yeah. And then uh, the dude who played Stuart was Jesus. He came and, okay, well, you said you wanted me to take you. Right. Your husband's back alive. And here we go. She's like, wait a minute. I, uh, <laughs> I yeah. Oh, yeah. It never fails. I usually end up laughing at some point in a funeral. Seriously, it's very rare that I don't laugh at something at a funeral. And you feel kind of bad, but you're like, but you know this stuff is crazy, right? Yeah. Like, somebody's going to laugh. Yeah. So, yeah, funerals. I don't know. Um, Steve was just telling me about a funeral he went to where the um, the person that passed away, he, he, um, he had some struggles with drugs and things like that mm -hmm. well his either his brother or his uncle got up and i guess the family is full of um street pharmacists oh, and okay. he, yeah he got up at the mic and was like this is all your fault oh <laughs> like, like, he's dead because of all of you so, oh wow <laughs> you know so you just uh. that that shock about your funerals is just <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you have to just laugh to keep from crying or to stop yeah. yourself from crying. But not to be just stuck on morbid things. One other one, I was I remember being at a um 
at a service and the man he got a little mixed up and he was like god is defeated and the devil is exalted <laughs> <laughs> I was really young, but I never forgot it because oh. I was like, what in the world? <laughs> now, the, the, did somebody try to correct him, but he doubled down? No, no, I said what I said. God's defeated <laughs> in this place. <laughs> oh, no, I meant it. <laughs> in hell will you lift up your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> right. Y'all not going to tell me Satan's not good. Like, wait, hold on. <laughs> you know what Satan did for me the other day? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's horrible. Oh, that's yeah. so sad. But nobody really corrected him because they knew he was a little older and they knew he had got it mixed up. Yeah. But I'm like, what about the person sitting in the sanctuary that doesn't know? Right, because it's a <laughs> funeral. Like, well, was it a funeral? This wasn't a funeral? No, book. it wasn't. It was, this one wasn't a funeral. Oh, okay, yeah. all right. going to get off that. But, all right, uh, all right, all right. <laughs> well, because that's what but, I was saying, because you're like, because people, because, you know, more people would be at church in a, at a funeral that don't usually go to church. Yeah. And they'd be like, wait, what's happening here? What kind of church is this? And then, you know, but it, this wasn't a funeral. Go ahead. Go for it. Yeah, no, this this was something different. But, you know, it it there's a lot that you could say about, about um, the craziness in church. But I think that even with all of that, I think for those of us that allowed it to, even the crazy moments in church helped us to develop our personalities because you do have to laugh and you do have to, you know, realize like, yeah, this stuff is crazy and all of that or whatever. But right. I think it, it helps you to stay, um, I guess, realistic about things like, oh, yeah. you know, everything is, everything doesn't have to be serious and all of that. And I'm like, you can't predict the crazy stuff. I mean, you know, there's been times that <laughs> there was a lady who came to, um, I guess, run a revival or whatever. And she has mm. this thing where she take her teeth out and mm. lay them on the podium. So, you know, <sighs> you have to, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, stuff like that. It's like, how could you stay serious when somebody is like, Oh, excuse me, saints, this is what I got to do. <laughs> yeah exactly you know, gumming um, for jesus no yeah that's that's like the exact thing behind you as you know of behind church funny and stuff because yeah. you know to to undeepen the the christian experience it, it's not you know <laughs> everybody can't be yeah. that deep walking on a cloud next to jesus all day long because we still you know people we still have people. yeah we're still people and that's not to take away from you know because some people you know it, it's kind of a double thing for me because some people they're like, Oh, well, you don't have to be that deep and you don't da, 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 da. But then there are some people I truly believe that, you know, the type of call and the notion mm -hmm. that they have in their life, like not, not so deep that, you know, you can't laugh or you look down on people who have a sense of humor. Cause I right. know some people that act like that, but you know, I guess it's, there's not a fine line, but, you can't let people like judge you if you choose not to be as carnal right, right, right. <laughs> as other people. But some people kind of get that skewed and they think, oh, well, you know, I ain't trying to be deep or you ain't trying. But like I draw the line at people who are like 60, 70, 80 that say stuff like, I mean, not to be deep, but no, I need you to be deep. I need you to we be that, that old seasoned season wisdom. That, right. You know, I need that wisdom. Like when I'm being carnal and fickle and laughing at all the wrong things or I'm just being, you know, right. me or whatever and not connecting spiritually or whatever. I need you to like check me and be like, like you're old. I Ex need you to do that. <laughs> except on Instagram. We don't need it on Instagram. No. Now, baby, you know you shouldn't have posted we that. We don't need you that on shouldn't Instagram. shouldn't be on Instagram. I went, I went through that. I went through that on um, Facebook for a while because, well, my mom, um, you know, she's an amazing woman. She's truly an anointed woman of God. The I woman of because, God. Yes. And I don't say that just because she's my mom, but I mean, she literally lives what she preaches right. and, um, and all of that. But it was funny because people think because of her, um, her ministry in a place of ministry, I think they expect her to be like that super nothing's funny this is you know this mm -hmm. and this and that and um on facebook she knew that like i would put things on there to like start conversations or you know right. to do stuff like that and people would call now i'm i'm an adult right. 
but people yes. would call her and say, you know, make comments about certain things that I would post on Facebook. And she would laugh because she's like, I think they're expecting me to like reprimand you yeah, or whatever. She was, like, she was like, first of all, she was like, my first, she was like, they never, they stopped saying stuff when I'm like, first of all, she's grown. <laughs> right. Second of all, she does thought provoking things. She makes thought provoking topics. It's not necessarily a personal thing with her. Like, so she had to like explain to them. And then it got to the point where she was just like, stop calling me. Like, don't, <laughs> <laughs> you know, don't call me about what she does, you know? Right. And it's like, you know, people are kind of, and I had another situation at a church where somebody kind of, I won't go into, but they made some comments about things they didn't necessarily approve of with me. Mm -hmm. And they literally were like, oh, well, I know you wouldn't, you know, do that intentionally because I could call your mom. <laughs> now, this is recent. <laughs> I'm in my 30s. Wow. And yeah. And um, I called her and I was like, you know, X, Y, Z happened. And they said that. And she starts laughing and she was like, oh, they can call me. She was like, but I'm pretty sure they'll be surprised at my answer. Right. So right. Let's, just, let's, let's go with it. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, you have to have a balance. And that's what I love. Like, you know, like you said, with church funny and church life, like you have to have a balance because there's, you know, they say there's a fine line between spirituality and insanity. Okay. Yeah. I've heard, I've heard that many times and it's, it's true because I've seen it play out, Yeah. but um, you have to have a balance, you know, you have to be able to laugh. You have to, you know. Even in your spiritual journey, you used to have to be like, like you said, we're still on earth and we're still human. So, right, right. You know. Hey, man. Yeah. Good and stuff. Just... Okay, so before we get to our next segment, we want to give a quick shout out to our podcast sponsor, and that's churchydate.com. Churchy Date is the best new Christian dating site where the goal is to connect single Christians through faith, laughter, and love. It's got all the features you'd want on a dating site, plus some really fun and churchy questions to make sure there's no unequal yokes, a man being formed. <laughs> so while other dating sites cost around 30 bucks a month, Churchy Dates premium membership is only $5 a month, and they've even got super discounted six-month and yearly plans. Register and create your profile for free on churchydate.com and use the promo code CHURCHYLIFE to try a premium membership out completely free for one month. Go ahead, browse for your sanctified boo at churchydate.com. All right, so let's do, we're going to do this last segment. It's called the Holy Hot Seat. Maybe we'll have a little um, little intro song. Holy Hot Seat. I don't know. You know. <laughs> 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 you got to have like some rock. Holy Hot Seat. And do that thing. No, probably not. Right. I'm leaving that in there though, but we're not going to do that all the time. Right. <laughs> Well, maybe we will. I don't know. Or like, or kind of have it like a SpongeBob, Krusty Krabs. Right? <laughs> <Yes. laughs> yeah. uh, shout out to SpongeBob. Yeah. Shout out to SpongeBob. And so, all the hot seat is just quick. They're like random fire questions. We're gonna ask you. Give a quick answer right off the top of your head of whatever we ask you. Um, you ready? It's dangerous. It's very dangerous. Nah, it's not that bad. It'll be. It'll no, be I mean for the stuff I'll think of. Yeah. No, it's no. It'll, it'll be easy. <laughs> I, well, maybe. I don't know. All right. I might your... say some crazy stuff. Yeah. You know well, I, mean? I guess so, but maybe not. All right. All right. So, what's your favorite after church spot to eat? Uh, if not at home, then uh, I don't know. You cooking Sunday dinners? That yeah, I'm 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 cooking something I put in the crock pot. Oh, you're married now. That Mississippi roast, get them every time. I don't know what that is, but praise God. Oh, I'll, I'll give you the recipe. It's amazing. It'll change right. your life. Give it to yeah. Danny because I don't cook. Well, I I cook. I don't know. I just made some greens That's, the other day. See, I did. I need to make the some average too. dude is not like yeah. I put a pot of greens on stuff. Got some <laughs> bread in the oven. <laughs> you know. Yeah. It's in you. Yeah, well. <laughs> It'll but come yeah, um, I don't. There's a oh, there's this pizza place um, called Glorioso's that I like to go to. Oh yeah. Now, when I was still in San Diego, it would be Taco Shop. Hands oh, down. the Taco Shop. Yeah. Lord, we think you can you add that taco song shop. in too. Mm, taco Shop. All right, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready to go. I know. All right, let's say besides the Bible, 
Okay. Name one of your favorite books. Um, <laughs> the Flavor Bible. That's that's almost cheating. Well, not really. It, it's nah. currently my favorite book. I All right. No, that's cool. I'm good with that. I like I'm the flavor that Bible. Life. I'm about that life. Yeah. No, there's another book, and I, the title is escaping, but I read it a couple times. Um, it's basically talking about how to be a praying wife. Oh, all right. By Bishop yeah. McKinney. Uh, it could be. Bishop no, McKinney's got actually, books on marriage yeah, no, and stuff. Not, you have his book? I don't. I, 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 I might have I one somewhere. That. Um. Uh, I think her name is Stormy. I can't think of the I can't think of the name of it, but she's an awesome author. She has a wonderful podcast, and um, she talks about uh, relationships and not just for married people, but just um, her journey with her husband and changes and things that they went through. And um, it's a it's an awesome book, but she she's very practical in her teaching. So, you know, I mean, it's of course from a biblical perspective, but she's, she's hilarious and she keeps it very real as far as relationships and marriage and all stuff like that. So, um, it looks like her name is stormy. Oh, Om- Martian. Or, or, yes. Oh, Marty. Yes. I don't know if it's Omartian or Mar- I think Martian. It's Martian. Stormy. Yeah. Oh, Martian. And it's the power of a praying wife. The power of a praying of a wife. Yes. Nice. Yeah, so Michelle recommended that to me, and I was like, thanks. Awesome. And her podcast, so yeah, she's dope. Very cool. I already asked you one of the, well, you already, well, I already asked you one of these, so we can't do that one. Was, how many churches have you, well, no, that's not true. Uh, how many churches have you been a member of your entire life? You had three home churches, but that's not how many churches you've been a <laughs> member of. Okay, so. I would say as far as being old enough to make that decision to join the church, I would say two, actually. Okay. So that's Praise Fellowship, Church of God in Christ, which was my brother-in-law's church in Indiana. Mm. And then um, St. Stephen's. Oh, St. Stephen's. In San Diego. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I learned a whole lot at St. Stephen's. I I mean, both churches, of course, but St. Stephen's. Yeah, they had a big hand in in who I am today, and nice. I'll put it. I just yeah, I'll leave it that way. Very good. Um, in your industry, because you're a you're a baker now, mm-hmm. who do you look up to? Um, I like for creativity. I really enjoy. Um, Don't you say Paula Dean? Your... We're not messing with Paula Dean anymore. <laughs> Absolutely Even now. not. All you gotta do is call me at one time. Yeah. <laughs> We're done. Yeah, you're you're dead to me. No <laughs> um, I enjoy um as far as creative, like who I aspire to be creative, like um her name is Yolanda Gamp. Mm-hmm. And um she um I found her on YouTube. I know like I one of my professors was like, Well, find someone that's not on the internet that you can look up to, but everybody's on the internet now so that's kind of impossible to do because even the older ones are but um yeah Yolanda Gamp she is um she's incredible she has a page on YouTube called how to cake it and I mean like when I tell you she makes the most unreal looking cakes like she makes them look like realistic um things like she has like a giant steak cake that she does she's done juice boxes like Anything, yeah. And then as far as like the cupcakes and just being someone, because, okay, oh, I guess I should say the name of my business. Oh, so Cupcakes uh, by Megs, LLC. All right. Yeah. Anyway, um, Candice Nelson is another one that I look up to. She founded um, Sprinkles Cupcakes and mm-hmm. that, like, she like blew up from that. Like, they it, have it, like it, cupcake it. ATM machines now. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't so that crazy? I'm like, yeah, it's crazy, but she um definitely somebody that I'm like, okay, yeah, I need to study her, see what she did cuz she she like founded the first cupcake only bakery. Right. So, yeah, she's a cupcakery cool. if you will. Yes, cupcakery. Yes. So, yeah, those are a couple people and then of course, you know, my family, my I have a, um uncle was a master chef, so and one that he uh went to um baking pastry art school or whatever so oh, wow. 
and then my mom, you know, and family members that I, you know, draw inspiration from. So nice. Very good. And me, the man of God. And my brother Damon. I've yeah. baked nothing. Well, I, I did bake a peach cobbler one time. Kind of. Yeah, but you still can cook though. And like various banana bread. Doesn't necessarily have to be a baker that I look up to. <laughs> like you can really cook, so I was just playing, yeah. you don't have to yeah. <laughs> All right. Is that All right. it? Well that yeah, that was awesome. That was All right. it. May the Lord watch. Right. Um so yeah, I want to thank you again for coming on the Churchy Life Show, the podcast. Thank you for having me. Oh, thank you so much. It was awesome. Um, it was great talking to you. Um yeah, give everybody it. your social media information where they can find you, where they can order cupcakes, all that good stuff. All right. So Instagram, it's at O so cupcakes that's o-h-s-o-c-u-p-c-a-k-e and um facebook is facebook.com slash oh so cupcakes by megs um and then of course the website www.osocupcakes.com um you can contact me on any of those platforms um for cakes um if you are interested in looking for a songwriter you can contact me there too um nice. or email megs at also um yeah i'm available for singing baking um i do a lot of stuff so and praise I, dancing. I just oh no you're retired not, not I'm praise dancing yet no i just say like on. i probably have adhd but i channel it in the right directions so right. i do I, I my goal has always been to be a jack of all trades mm-hmm. after of none so if i can't do it i can get a resource for you got the plug nice all right <laughs> well thank you again i appreciate you sister yeah i appreciate you i love you so much i'm so proud of you and this this new platform i think it's going to be awesome I, I think so too. It's, it seems this was really fun. Um, and I think people will enjoy. We'll see y'all next week. Love you, sis. Love you too. For full episode information, show notes, and links to anything discussed on this episode, visit churchylife.com. For feedback and guest suggestions, email churchfunny at gmail.com. If you love what we're doing, show your support with a positive rating and review on iTunes. Please don't forget to subscribe and share Churchy Life with your friends and family.